Shit, what's this podcast called? Discourse of Human Events. The, the discourse is just crazy, crazy, crazy. Everything's okay, I'm just trying to act my age. Yeah, I wanna know. Ready? One, two, three. Flashlight. You counted up this time and started down. Also, weren't we supposed oh, yeah. to agree on a change, but Chloe wasn't here? That's at episode 200. Okay. You know the problem is, for the kids, I always count one, two, three until I, like, dip them or throw them in the air. Ah, see, you've changed up. <laughs> oh, my God. Because they're not going to learn to count if I go three, two, one. Right, they right. They think retardedly that's the order. <laughs> <laughs> you you taught them backwards to mm-hmm. for a joke? All yeah, right. they'll go into kindergarten. Three, two, one, four. <laughs> Five, six, seven, eight. All right, what? <laughs> so we're going to do rankings today. So I figured for the tier list, we'd start with the most fun one that they had. Which was mm-hmm. animals I could beat in a fight. Because it's the most discoursing thing and we've discussed things like this before. Okay. So as you can see, the rankings aren't like just F to S tier. They okay. specifically have, I would paint the walls in their blood. That's the top oh, okay. tier. Then they'd get a few hits in, but ultimately I'd win. So on and so forth. So, I think we all have to come to an agreement for where we place things though. Since okay, we're all exactly. doing this separately. I just want to say this is perfect for today. Mm-hmm. Because today, I just killed a little baby rattlesnake. Oh, there's probably a snake on here. Yeah. Well, not a real rattlesnake. That I would not do- <laughs> fight with. <laughs> said not that. <laughs> it was that. about like seven, eight inches, and I threw a planter on it. Nice. Got him. So. Murked. All right. So well, I'm going to put that in... I don't know where that would fit. I'm looking to see if there's a snake. There is a snake. <laughs> oh, I actually have to place... Okay. You would place that yeah, in... I, they'd get a few hits in, but I'd ultimately would no, win. No, he didn't get a hit in. But you didn't paint the, the walls in their blood. You it totally wasn't that can. Crazy. That's why so, I it's it's fun. So, like, I dropped the planter on it once, right? Yeah. And it didn't kill it, but it, like, immobilized it. It actually starts snapping, like, trying to bite the air. That's why I said they could and get a few hits it, in. That doesn't it up, say throw they it back on yeah. it, Pick it up, throw it on it again. It took about three, four solid drops before it died. Damn. So I think I'd, I'd put that... They had to get a few hits in just because he got to snap at me. Yeah, that, that's what I said. Like, yeah, he didn't actually yeah. hit you, probably won't hit you. But, like, it's not as serious as, like, the top tier. Yeah. But for this one, we're starting with a lobster. <laughs> oh, I have to actually put the... Oh, I thought we'd just, like, make up whatever we wanted. No, they have some pre-built for us. Okay. Oh, okay. And I told you I would paint the walls in that yeah, place I, flood. Yeah, I feel like there's no the other... lobster? Really? Would they the get walls. any hit... Would a lobster ever get a hit in on you? Uh, you pick it up by the tail and you throw it. It does have pinchers, so like it well, could get you. Well, when you pick it up you. by its head, it's going to snap when you try you to said, get the I head. I said the tail, buddy, the tail. You said the tail. Oh, the I'm tail. sorry, I thought you said head. No, you grab it by the tail and you could literally just hit the don't wall with it. Do they have a stinger it. on the tail, though? Or do they not have a stinger? No, they don't have stingers. No, they don't have a stinger. It's just they just have claws. claws. They look... Here's the thing. They, they look you like large scorpions them with and scorpions do have the stingers. Yeah, they... Nicole has a very good point, and you just put rubber bands on them, and they're useless. <laughs> yeah, so this isn't a rubber-banded lobster, I'm assuming. No. Well, then, but... yeah, for sure, you'd paint the walls in their blood. So it sounds like we have an argument whether it's like we'd paint the walls, or they might get like a snap it, in or something. It may not be a fair fight if mm-hmm. the lobster is not in the ocean. <laughs> yeah, is this on its own territory, or is this outside? Because yeah, it's own true. territory. It's, I mean, this is just up. on a white background. I'm assuming yeah. it's not in the water. This is picture unclear. Oh, wow. 
Do any of the other like pictures that are that on a white background, or do they? Actually I'm I'm voting would paint the walls in their blood because they're just they're so no. useless. You could step on Again, them before I don't they. Think they would get any hits in, but if you fuck up, they will. I'm saying they had less chance than your snake. You just gotta take off your shoe. No, I think they're better than the snake. No, because snakes like, have like a little like... range with their bite and stuff. Yeah, snakes and can... quick. They're way quicker. No, no, no. Lobsters can run, can't they? Like no. 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 Definitely not. They don't run? No. They're not crabs. Oh, okay. I thought they would move kind of like that. No. No. Yeah. They definitely can't. They, they 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 are not good on, on any kind of and land. Florida, I've we would have seen crustaceans. them tied up in a goddamn like, grocery store with their rubber banded. So, so, in, so in, I'm making those some assumptions. Here. Yeah. In Florida, we would have crustaceans that would come out after a heavy rain, but they could barely run. Their mobility is almost yeah. zilch. They move super slow. Like all you gotta do is take off your shoe and bap them a few you just, times. You can boot them across the the room, basically. Hmm. Okay. All right. Now we got a zebra. Next is a zebra. And the zebra is outside. And this is in a home turf. We're going by the picture, so home turf. Ah. Uh, I would. I mean. I don't know what. Do they bite? It's like a Does horse. Bite? So. They, are, they would I think bite. Horses can horse. bite. Right? And trample and kick. I th I and feel like with movies the horses kick. It's either See, a close thing, one I like, win or I don't know 50 50. I would win, but I don't think it would hurt me. Well, you'd have to be punching it a lot. I'm just <laughs> thinking of the fact of they're such heavy animals. Like you're already I mean, at it. Yeah. Like, I don't that's think, not good. I don't think we made this so clear. This Are we using outside to, weapons? Like, no, no weapons. Complete. Is it just it's like, fist fight? The clothes on our on our uh, this one clothes on our back. Yeah, it's just a fight. Fight, so fight with what you got. If I like punch it in an open area, it's just gonna run away. It might try to kick me, but it, after that, it's gonna run away if it can't kick me. Hey, look, we gotta if we gotta assume this is arena area, stuff. If we're in a very enclosed area that it can't get away, um, I think I'd probably fuck it off. I don't think it'd be fifty fifty, because I just don't think they're built to fight. I think they're built to run. I True. think you get tired of fighting it. I think they have zero <laughs> ability to fight. They're they're running machines. They're just heavy though, so like they they can kick. Yeah, no, but like, I think I a horse think... can kick and bite. But no, no, they kick in the back. They do back kicks. They don't do front kicks. Yeah, but they can they, still like, bite you, off. and if they trample you, you they lose. They can bite you, but they're not like a dog. I don't think they're that's their main weapon. Look, I'm not saying like, you wouldn't in, win, but I think it's closer than you think. They got some big chompers. I, yeah. I would put it it would be a close one, but I would win. I'm okay like, with I that. There's no chance I would lose. Like, I, all you have to do is like get its muzzle up above you and just start ripping at its throat and punching it. Or just right, right. Balls, you know, whatever. What? So like, there's it would, a, be a, <laughs> it would be a hard one fight because it's heavy. I think it's a lot of work to take this. Yeah, it's down. a lot of work just to kill it. But I don't think it can do that much damage to unless you're really not careful. Right. Fair enough. Um, How drunk am I? When I'm fighting the zebra. Now that's a thing. Zero. Not only zero. You don't zebra, get any advantages, man. No, that's a disadvantage because you're clumsy. No, I'm just saying you don't get any like anything added. I know. But if I'm fighting a zebra, I assume I'm pretty drunk. <laughs> so it looks like when we take one animal out, they generate in another animal. Do they? So yeah. I assume we'll we'll go. No, there's a mouse blood. Sure? Yeah. Yeah. That, it's just that if they had enough, they only should have so many. Blood, easy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is so... Painting the walls in the mouse's blood. Once, the once I catch that blood. little motherfucker, it's on. Blood has already splattered a floor with a mouse's brain. Yeah. Mouse, I have done that as well. smacked it with a broom to death. Mouse is fucked. Mine was a hockey stick. Oh, yeah. All right, did, let's move on to a reindeer. Or a reindeer, a deer. Because that's what I had to do. She just let that corpse lay there until I got home. Oh, I picked it up. I, I, I kept um, shuffling it. With the hockey stick until oh, it was out hockey? of the door. Oh, I had a little game. <laughs> <laughs> Play a little game with it. I was the goalie. <laughs> <clears throat> a deer? I don't know. Like, a deer with antlers. So This is a deer. buck, then. Yeah. I'm thinking I'm losing. Especially if I yeah, gotta fight it. I would say I would... Maybe 50-50? Yeah, 50-50 maybe. I don't think you guys understand. The chances are probably worse than 50-50, but there's a chance. I'm saying I'd get a few hits in it, but I would lose because those things, when they go crazy with their antlers on you, you're getting... Yeah. Those will go it's right either 50-50 or a chance I is close, but I lose. I'd lose. Uh, I'd say 50-50... Just because I don't think the antlers are designed to fight anything but other deer. 
No, you can what are you definitely talking get about? by them. You can definitely, you can get, definitely get, get killed by antlers, man. Let me let me rephrase. I don't think it's built to fight things with opposable thumbs that can grapple. They can. I've seen people you can have grab to get those deer antlers out of their and direct it easily. Right? And there's definitely yeah. not. They're way stronger than you. that. <laughs> if no, you try to grab matter. them, they're just going to rip. It doesn't rip. matter how much force, Zach. It's that you can direct the force. As long as you get a hold, and I say there's a 50-50 chance they charge at you, you can grab the antlers and direct it whichever way. I see what you think Nick you're, you're has, doing. Nick thinks he's got a yeah. lot of, like, stamina and I, strength. I think, I, I see what oh, you no, think no, you're no, doing, but strength. I guarantee That's you it's not saying, happening. It doesn't take strength. It just takes, no matter how much strength they have, you can just nudge it in the way you want. Oh, okay, Nick. So if a train's coming at you, you can nudge it out of the way? No. That's, okay, we're not considering Nick different. for this. Tier. Take that down a couple. I'm getting a few hits in, but I'm. How is this different if so? If a if a 400 500 pound animal is rushing at you with antlers, how do you think you can just grab their antlers and move them out of the way? Mm, that's essentially the same as you just it, saying you can move a car out of the way. <laughs> no, I'm not picking up a train and moving the train. Okay, if well, I'm... That's different than directing. If I'm swinging right? a bat at you, can you just grab now, it and now, move it out the way? No, let's say yes. No, you can't. Yes. <laughs> you want to try this? If it's attached to... Oh, if it's God. Here's the difference. It's going to have to be taped to you. Right? We're never going to make it to another level. That's That's worse for you. No, hold on, hold on. I feel like you could easily... You can't even it. say a bat because you can't pierce them with the bat. You yeah, I would say it's a bat with nails. Let's, you know what, <laughs> you know what Nick? We have a lot of antlers in the house. We'll just take That's them to Zach, bad. and we'll have him go at you with the antlers. Yeah, and I bet I would easily redirect Zach's antlers. <laughs> I bet you would. they're like a whole mass system, right? And they're a big bulk of its weight. No. And it's its head. They like shed them. Directing its they head. shed them. Why do you think it's here's, a big bulk over the weight? Here's the weight. difference, thinking about the They come side. out. The bulk, it's its head. They it's fall off. It's a big attachment to a head. The head itself right. is very small. The thing holding up the antlers is very, very small. I don't think he's right? seen and a deer before. I, I, I don't think you know what a buck looks like, man. <laughs> no, it's a neck attached to a head, Zach. No animals have a big, giant fucking neck. They it's have a like very strong neck. neck. Have you even messed no, with a I dog don't. in their neck? If I bet you, if you <laughs> attach antlers to a goddamn dog, I would beat the shit out of a dog. <laughs> yeah, no but a dog wouldn't know how to use it. A dog would because be trying to get easily, antlers off. All I can think of is the <laughs> Grinch with his dog <laughs> that has the antler on it. <laughs> Nick, Nick thinks he's a superhero like against these the antlers. The speed of a bat that a human can swing is way faster than antlers. Okay, Chloe, let me... You think about the physics. Do you think a full-grown adult man... It's also running at you. It's not going to, like, yeah. stand there and just so, try and hit I'm you. I'm saying the 50-50 is I grab the antlers. Okay, this was that, supposed that, to be a group <laughs> decision. <laughs> Some of us cannot be 50-50 with we'll, the deer. We'll vote. We'll, okay. we'll vote. Okay, so it's a simple math, right? Mm -hmm. the, given the estimated amount of the kilograms of how much the deer weighs, <laughs> mm -hmm. Times the maximum speed divided <laughs> by the amount of time. She's doing you have fucking velocity out? over Please here. Please tell me you have a calculator out. <laughs> then you get the amount of force that you need to apply to no. redirect the deer. Because it's not the whole deer you're, re you're redirecting. You're redirecting its center of gravity. The well, center of gravity is not its not center of mass. Right? <laughs> oh my god. You're just redirecting its head. The rest of the body is going to follow the head. All you have but to do is change the direction of its head. The momentum is computed as a like, deer. No. If you're saying the deer is a sphere, it's so ridiculous. I don't agree with you. It is not a sphere. Nick is living out some like Keanu Reeves fantasy that he has, where he can take on these animals. Drop, drop it down I, to the tier. I, <laughs> no, I like this one. He thinks it's 50 50. I, I think, think you're outvoted on this one, Nick. <laughs> I'm outvoted, but you guys are wrong. <laughs> I think you're wrong. Sure. We can experiment. You have to remember, it's a group thing. It's a group Again, thing, so some of I us are going to lose. For most animals, it could fight, but for anything with thumbs and that could grapple, I think this is why humans and apes, you know, have an advantage. They have that opposable thumb to grab shit. That is a big advantage in some instances. I, I give you it's an advantage, but not against uh, a deer. Especially a buck. I don't see how they would do it. I think they're mostly built for attacking other deers, really. 
that is what they're for, really. Okay, put the iguana in the painting the blood category. Yeah, yeah, we can get we can, uh, uh, we can get rid of the iguana. If it drops <laughs> below like forty degrees in Florida, they we'll we'll do like them. ten because we can argue on these ones a lot more than most other ones. Yeah, th those ones are easy when they're. Oh, just oh, oh, an octopus. An octopus. Is get, no, if it's if it's out in the open and or not is that in a the squid? ocean, I this would looks stop. like it's that's in water or squid. Oh, squid. Sorry, that's in water. Squid can't do shit. In water, but it looks like it's in the water. Still, like, well, how's a squid even it's in fight? Black. How are you kidding water? me? It uses its tentacles. Yeah, I don't yeah, know so how a squid really fights. Too. I know octopus no, would be fucked, but a squid. If it's in water, I would lose, Zach. If yeah. it's not in water, I would destroy it. Yeah, we're we're dying. They're not poisonous. I'm putting this one down because we don't, that one's too dependent on water. But it looks like it's in the water. It's in, in the it, water. They like remove it. It would squirt you with ink. You can't see shit. You only got five minutes unless you have scuba gear. How, how about I get a few hits in, but I would lose. I don't know. It doesn't matter because it's entirely dependent on water. We can just skip it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. All right, a bear. I don't even know what that is. A bear? No chance I would... It's a brown bear. bear. No chance still. No. Zero I'd chance. get torn to fucking shreds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Zero chance. What is oh, that? they have rotating... Rhino. They have rotating hooks the on the end of their tentacles. Um, I would not even try... I'd run. What? Are you saying you can't just grab yeah. his horn and move him out of the way? <laughs> Uh, no, because that thing's huge. Wait, I thought it's, we were putting the squid even down. Even its head is fucking massive. Compared to a deer, that thing weighs, like, way more. A, a, a buck weighs, like, four, five hundred pounds, man. Okay, okay let's put First that and I'd be too scared to even no, 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 fight. No, 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 we want to go back to this. Yeah. First of all, its horn is small compared to the antlers of a deer. A rhino's a horn is huge. It's a massive network of antlers, which makes it not very well balanced at all. A rhino's horn is huge. Compared to it, no, 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 no. Compared to the antlers of a full-grown deer, those things are like massive, and they're a whole network that are not well balanced. No, I mean they like also, a deer also shed would... their antlers. Yeah, they might not even have antlers. And also, again, going back to the center of mass, Wee. that is basically not really like diverting its center of mass like at all <laughs> like and antlers they're like one is way over to the right and one is way over to the left that's where i say you can steer it to the left and it's gonna go you think, oh my god you think you're turning it like a steering Easy. wheel <laughs> if you pull a rhinoceros's horn left it's not gonna go left but if you pull a deer's le antler left it's gonna go left all right well we know we're gonna lose to the rhino yeah, there's no shit. I'm putting that in the I'm Plus too scared to Yeah, that's what I put. Too scared to even fight. We would lose too fast. I mean, same with the bear. Yeah, I same mean... The, the I'm not so fighting the bear. We had that, that discussion with the hippo. Uh, we did, strategies. we did. I would fist fuck it. But, <laughs> <laughs> but we'd probably lose. Um, a turtle is too getting boring. Getting it's in the water, though. A turtle in the water. Does and it, that's that's like them, one of them giant sea turtles. Does add a little interesting that's bit a, to that's it. That's a sea turtle. I'm not sure. I still think it, they might get a few hits well, in, but they we're going to win. Yeah, they bite. Again, this, these, the, the seawater animals, it depends on if they're in the water. That or is in the water. That the picture's in the water. water, so we're in the water. For this one. But then if the water, if you're in the water, you'd almost lose to all of them because that's what they're built for. I don't think so. Against water. against oh, a I'm turtle, sorry, it would take forever. Water. But you could. Just... I think you'd still win against a turtle in the water. They're just they gonna bite, bite you a lot. Yeah, but oh, they're huge though. They're bigger than that, me. How, how they're how six to nine feet. You throw in the water. Oh, never mind. If they're the size of Nicole, maybe we aren't winning. No, this they're one. the size of you guys. Oh they're Jesus! Six to nine uh, feet. Size. Not most of them. No, that's a, a sea, sea turtle. turtle. That's an actual a sea, sea turtle. turtle. Uh, let me look. That's a sea oh, turtle. Cool. It's six to nine feet. I'm looking at it right now. That's Every pretty fucking weight. huge. Oh, and they weigh about fifteen hundred pounds. pounds. Okay. I did not. We're not that killing. Fifteen hundred pounds. Confused there with those three fifty. Okay. Okay, that we'd lose. We lose. See this. This is where I say most. If you hit in, but water lose. animals, you just lose. I mean, that's not that interesting. All right, do we want to do one more or move on? Let's skip do sea animals. They're boring. <laughs> well, tiger, uh, same as the bear. Yeah, t we well, lose. worse than bear. We just would never want to fight. No. Same thing with the wolf. I, I would not want to fight worse. a wolf. Yeah, what about a wolf? Uh, you know what? I think if we were in a group, we could take on a wolf, depending on how big the wolf well, was. Yeah. Wolf usually yeah. travels in packs. 
Yeah, but if you're yeah. saying a lone wolf, I feel like I'd have a chance. I don't think I'd 100% lose. I think it, it's I get a few hits in but lose. Eh, it's between 50-50 and I'd have I a think chance. it also depends on the type 50, of 50 wolf. 50-50 against the wolf? I don't Cause, know. Because wolves in different True. areas are different sizes. Again, I always go back to I think I could take almost any dog. I mean, I could but get fucked up. But they're much bigger than dogs. But I, no, see, I think I'd win well, ultimately. I don't think like I'd you said, depends on the wolf. I think I'd win against a single lone wolf, but I would be severely uh, fucked up. Uh, are we talking mm. about that we're all bare hand? We don't have anything. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. Still win. it's just you, your shoes, yeah, and the clothes on your back. Mm, yeah, but no, I think there are strategies against dogs and wolves that, like, again, if you just shove your fist right down its fucking throat when it goes into a b bite. It's going to back off, and if you really shove it down hard, you can probably get into it some internal organs. What? <laughs> Why do you think that you can do this? I don't know. <laughs> oh, because I've fought Jake, or one dog, and like Ooh. if I wanted him to stop, uh, you just, when he goes... Yeah, but he wasn't trying to murder you. Yeah, and, and most are to have way Jake worse either. teeth than I'm not but that's my dog. Big dog either. Dogs. If I really wanted to ram my fist down his throat, I might have killed him. Right, right. Right? And You're... he was a big dog, and oh, I Jesus. wasn't that big when we I, had him. I yeah. think all your assumptions in a fight assume that the other person is allowing you to do what you want it to do. What you no, want to I... do. <laughs> a wolf doesn't just that's... open no, no, its no, mouth no, wide no, enough no, for you no, to no, shove no. a hand in that there. Is, no, it, that's its strategy. It's trying to bite. I'm taking what it's trying to do and counteracting it. You yeah, but why you try is... to shove your hand down there, it's going to get you before you make it down that yeah, far. No, it's, it's going to back out the bite most likely. And then that's fine. It's going to take your arm you. off. <laughs> no. It's, see, I think it might just bite your fist as you try to shove it down its head. Two, my hit fist is down its fucking... If you're going to put your hand in its mouth, the other hand needs to be punching its eyeballs. Either way, Nick. like I said, I would get fucked up, but I think I would win. I think you... I think, I think there's a chance to win, but I think you are definitely in critical condition here. I think I would probably either win, way. but I'd be fucked up. I would probably get a lot of my arm chewed like to shit. I don't think it's 50-50 either. I think we should move on to a different list because all of these is Nick thinking that he can take <laughs> Nick thinks he's a superhero. <laughs> no, no, I think... What about... Okay, let's do this. What about a shark, about. Nick? <laughs> can you put your, your hand down the throat of a shark? I said I'd lose against everything. Uh, and, and, yeah, he said everything. Like, basically. Oh, there is an octopus on there. Anything underwater. Mm -hmm. oh, there is. I think almost any sea creature that's... You know what? Hang on. There's a dog. There's a dog on there. There's just a regular dog. There's a puppy. How about the puppy, Nick? <laughs> I think we would fuck this puppy up. I'm pretty sure I could fuck a puppy up. <laughs> they might get a few bites panda, in, but guys. they're dead. What's that? A panda? No, those are like bears. You'd lose against a panda. They're kind of weak-ass bears, panda, though. Panda, but they're big. The they're huge. Target. Yeah, but they're pretty big. They'd rip you apart. They're smaller than grizzlies. Or not grizzlies. Brown bears, though, right? They're, they're big. Brown yeah, they're basically brown bells. They'll rip you apart. There's no way. They got huge fucking claws, too. There's yeah. There's zero way you'd win. Yeah, this doesn't sound good. But, but you could get a few licks I in think you get a few. See, before you even get up, though. I know right. what I'd lose against. I There's think you no get a few hits, then. I, I think even the ones you uh, think you would no. fight, you'd still probably this, lose. I think it's the exact same uh, as a bear. Okay, guys. All right. no I know how to win a fight against Panda. Give it bamboo? No. Hide all the bamboo. Wait for it to starve to death. Yeah. They're, they're retarded, basically. They're, they're basically kind of as dumb as koalas. All right, let's move on yeah, to a different list because this one's too crazy now. All right, do you want to do fast food chains or just um, what was the other one I had? You had a lot. I'm gonna Chips. Google if anyone's fought a wolf and who survived. Oh my god. That's a good question. Usually those are hunters. What about an elephant, Nick? They have tusks. An elephant? No, you wouldn't want to get an elephant. <laughs> but the tusks are on the left and right side, dude. You can redirect the head. <laughs> <laughs> I like this, uh, the way they break down this tier. I'd rather starve. Put little Caesars in there. <laughs> <laughs> get it over with. You're looking up the, the wolf one? Still wild. We couldn't make a connection. Uh, it seems like I might be wrong. Some people are saying no, but I'm seeing if anyone has an actual experience. 
Oh, oh actually, God. wait, Nick. I got a great example of how you're wrong. Jesus Christ. Okay. I have a great example. In World War Two. Well, I guess they're hunting in packs, though, so it doesn't count. There's yeah, no I solo. Yeah, packs, there's no chance. Yeah. Because the, there was packs in World War Two that were killing so many of the men that they, like, went together. The allies and axes went together to kill them because they were losing too many men to the wolves. Somebody has answered, I did fight a wolf, and I held my own until I survived. Basically making it difficult enough for it. Mm hmm To not make it worth its time. Uh... Let's move on. Oh, hold on! Someone's saying I've seen tame wolves and tame people. I've seen film. I've seen film footage of wolves attacking and humans engaged in real life fighting. Either wolf or man could win. Fifty fifty. <laughs> it is in literally an more evenly matched fight. I'd bet on a man to win. I bet you though, nobody is trying to put their hand down their throat because that's a terrible idea. I <laughs> think it, it seems very fifty fifty. I didn't say I'd put it on my, their throat. Yeah, yes, you did. That's literally what you said with a wolf. Get some no, I said I'll put my hand hands. down their throat, not in their hand, on their throat. What? You said you'd put your, your hand fist down, down the throat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I said. To yeah. And you said Nobody's you trying. I thought you said you, I would put my hand on their throat. No, no, down no. no. Okay. On their throat would sound smarter than uh, trying to fist their to face. Try <laughs> that. And instead, when you go into the bite, I'm just going to punch as hard as I can. And I want you I'm going to bite you next time I see you. I want to see how good of a bite you get when you go in. If I just fucking lean into it and hit as hard as I can when you go in for a bite. Well, I'm not a dog, so <laughs> it okay, doesn't we'll work that dog, way. I'll, I'll beat the shit out of that dog. <laughs> I'll beat the me. fuck out of that Nick, you sound like you have some pent-up anger about <laughs> I hate dogs! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's let's get a Jake more tame, <laughs> tame fast food tier list. I still list. tell you, this comes from actual experience when I was fighting a dog we had that was big. Right. If you I, I know, what, I know where you're back. coming from. If you stick your hand in a dog's mouth, they can't bite you. Yeah, but, yeah, like, yeah, exactly. when they're trying to actually bite you in a vicious way, they're not just going to let you I know. do that. You're probably going to get your hand or fingers bit off, more than likely. No, I don't. Mm, I don't think so, but okay. Depends on the speed of their bite versus the speed Yes, of exactly. Going that's down half my throat. point, and I think dogs are way faster than us with that. I don't know. I think I would know that I'm. Uh, uh, let's move on, because we, we yeah. can just stay here. Anyways, forever. I've been trying I'm to. beat the shit out of the wolf just to show you. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> 50 50 chance you. <laughs> I'm going to go to the zoo. Uh, excuse me, can I borrow a wolf? <laughs> I would like to take one wolf, please. All right. Fast food tier list. So we can get through this with a lot less arguing, I feel like. Can we go back to share screen? Yeah. First one, I don't know why they put this first, but In N Out. To me, that's top tier. That's uh, top tier fast I know. food. I would take the it best. down just because it has gotten so difficult to even get in there. You'll be in there waiting for an hour. Oh. Because they did not keep up with inflation. They just kept it cheap as shit. And so now it's super it busy. relative to the inflation. It's like, it's, I ask mom and dad. They went there recently. Yeah. an hour wait to get a goddamn burger. I, and it's like a three, four dollar burger. Okay, since I haven't experienced out. that, I'll drop it off of off of your your yeah, basis. It's just an outrageously crazy to get in, get that thing. All right. Otherwise, yeah, it's great. I'm I'm with you there then. If it's a wait, like I mean, I would wait for it, but an hour or more is getting crazy for fast food. All right, what about Wendy's? It's worthy of my money. Yeah, it's craveable. I like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Craveable seems exactly right for Wendy's. Like, yeah, it's it's mid tier for sure. It's not great. Has anyone here even had Carl's? I have, yeah, we have. Well, I think they're in. Uh, this is all you then. Where do you put Carl's Jr. here? Uh, yeah, it's below Wendy's. It's if it's available. A burger place, yeah. I wouldn't go out of my way for it at all. That's all right. how I feel about Canes. Yeah, Canes, I feel is more craveable to me. If I'm in the mood yeah, for Canes, it's really I good. Wendy's tier. But it's it's definitely. Not so always worth the money. Than Wendy. All right, what about um, T Bizzle? It depends on what I'm. I'd rather about. starve. <laughs> Which one? Uh, Taco, Taco Bell. Bell. I'd rather starve. <sighs> It's between craveable and worth my money. Yeah, I know. I can't decide if which. If you're in like the real like stoner like feeling, maybe right. it's worth my money. It can be just. It can hit just right though. 
Yeah, it actually it it varies between if it's available to worth my money. <laughs> yeah. on mailing, right? Taco Bell crosses all the lines, which means yeah. we should put it in the middle, but like the first in the middle of craveable. Yeah, if you're high as fuck, I bet it's top tier. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. It's all of them. All right, KFC. To me, that's like I'd rather starve. I do not a KFC. Fan. Uh, no. I like fried chicken. But most of the restaurants is dirty and gross. As I'd fuck. rather starve. Like, it seems like it attracts white trash, like yep. nothing else. See, I, Nicole and I are both I'd rather starve. So are, you, are any of you guys voting against this? I'd say if it's available. Too, like the food's good, right? It's not that bad. No. Not really. Fried chicken, what's wrong it's with It's okay. Fried no, they just aren't good anymore. I guess I'm not really a huge fried chicken person to begin with. I like fried chicken. I would say... I used I to like, like fried available. chicken too, but it's just like the... KFC Wait. and Popeye suck now. Zach, did we take you to Chinese KFC though? Um, no, we went to Pizza Hut and McDonald's. Oh, you're probably right. Chinese, see, KF, Chloe's coming from Chinese KFC. They're all clean. Number one. Uh huh. Oh yeah, the, the the standards in other countries are so much higher. Like tart, you know? Oh no, wait, we did go there. That was like one of the first places we went right after you picked yeah. me up in the it's airport. One of the yeah. most popular places in China. They people come here from China and try to go to the KFC in Kentucky, and they're like, this is gross. really confused. <laughs> yeah, it's just like yeah, that like, in the European countries it's so too. Terrible. It's so really sad. nice. I'm keeping it on I'd rather starve unless you guys are really at it. No, I would say it's for sure if it's because I'll eat it. It's not bad food at all. Oh, I did try that. What they did the double decker where it was chicken and chicken and then yeah, yeah, yeah. Like where chicken was the bread. bread. It was terrible. <laughs> but just their normal fried chicken, it's fine. It tastes fine. I, all right, I wouldn't go out of my way for it. Has anyone even had Del Taco? No. no. We can no. remove that. Chick-fil-A? I will not I eat the Chick-fil-A. Craveable. I'd, I'd rather like starve. That's also a very hard to get. <laughs> to me, it's in, in a not level. Yeah. It's I, pretty good. I like Chick-fil-A. Really? I, I feel like if it's available, if it's like a last pick, also mm -hmm. the line's always Those outrageous. It's worthy of my money. So, I, I think so we have to put in Craveable then because we've got enough debate. It's good enough that I don't care that they hate gay people. There's enough people that agree with you on that. Yeah, I think it's pretty good. I haven't had it in years because it's also one in California that's crazy busy. It's the same here. They're it's like, always busy. Yeah, mm -hmm. It's insane busy. how busy that place is. All right, Pizza Hut. Shit, man. <laughs> Why is Pizza yeah, Hut like the only pizza place yeah, here? Yeah, what are you talking about? about but... Little Caesars? Domino's? Oh, oh, I guess Why I didn't is, see these. It's like these. the most oh, mediocre pizza too. that you can get. It's basically, we made an attempt to make pizza. Yeah. So I'd say if it's available, basically. Because <laughs> mm -hmm. pizza can't be that bad if you didn't And I'd put it ahead of Carl's pizza. and KFC, though. Just because pizza is always better than that. Yeah. Burger King? I feel like craveable. Yeah, that it's is worthy of my money. Place out of yeah. Just the, for like, there. Wendy's, McDonald's, and Burger and uh, Burger Yeah, King. actually. Because mm, one, you can get. I'd put it at Taco Bell, fries. honestly. I think that's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think if if I'm wanting a burger, Burger King's going to way out beat Taco Bell. Mm, yeah. But the problem is sometimes Taco Bell's worth my money. Yeah, if you're high. <laughs> yeah. Or Domino's. You're really craving it. Same as Pizza Hut. But the thing is, it's like Pizza Hut, maybe. but half the price. Which is why yeah, I put it in Craveable, but in the end. Right. I can't say I actually ordered them very much. Little Caesars is i rather starve. Is anyone disagreeing? I haven't had that since we were kids. It's, it's like one step, maybe a half step above most frozen pizza. <laughs> Yeah. Like I said, we had it when we were kids. I don't know. I had it forever. All right. Sonic again, I Sonic? can't really say vaguely be, remember being We had Sonic available. a few times. Yeah, I think Sonic's available. pretty good. If it's available. Yeah, yeah, I think that's right. I'll take it with whatever you're It's not terrible. Papa John's? Uh, Same thing if it's available. Yeah. yeah. We have Papa John's. We don't eat that much pizza. I don't know. Whatever you I feel like they're in about the same line as Pizza Hut. I think Nicole's got that. Arby's? Arby's I've only had a couple times. I'd say if it's available. Yeah, I definitely never crave it, so it's not craveable. 
I used yeah. to when I worked right across from one. Yeah, well, that's that's going to tempt you then. How about... Because I used to really like it as a kid, so if it's yeah. available, we can put it there. If it's available, but I feel like it's the best out of the it's availables. Honestly, how you put them, it doesn't matter. It's well, sometimes that's the way you do it. Um, Jimmy John's. Jimmy John's is pretty good. They're worthy of worth, money. I think they're worth money. Years. Yeah, I'm with you on that. I in Columbus. I don't think they have them here. They don't? Yeah, I'm trying to remember. Yeah, I think Jimmy John's is worth my money. Did you have Jimmy John's in California? I haven't seen one. Then when would you have it through catering? Uh, in... Back in... Columbus. OSU. OSU. Okay. I remember thinking it was okay. Um... It's probably the best sub shop. Yeah, but subs aren't that great. It's like I, what? The most crazy. fast food. Like I'm not even gonna like wow. cook anything for you. I'm just gonna throw shit on a bread. <laughs> and there's no way any place. Well, sub some of them are cooked. Goes worthy. Some of, of them are hot though. subs. I would at least yeah. put it craveable. There's just no way. No. Nah. Shit, I can make at home. You I'm are outranked on this. I, I veto this you is, on this. No, Chloe is uh, mad on that too. I could make this at home. You could do that with a lot of things. I can also I make my own burgers. I, I yeah. can make my own pizza. I, I can fry anything. chicken. Yeah. They make, make their own bread. Are you making your own uh, bread? You put it there, but it's wrong. Chloe makes her own bread. Oh. <laughs> it's just a sandwich. Yeah, I mean, that's what a burger is, too. No. Everything is either a soup or a sandwich. <laughs> yeah, this is true. Pretty biased on sandwich. The See, only sandwich is always like meh. Is, oh, she doesn't like sandwiches. Let's, so it's a cold cut, to be more exact. It's some not of them always. Are, you can get some cooked. of them are cooked to order. Yeah, some are just cut, cut. And you can also get like uh, tuna where the there's something they've made. Yeah, there's also meatball subs. Shows how meh they are. Their cooked ones are. I mean, I usually get their. Uh, one that's like all the like uh, the pastrami and oh, Italian yeah. stuff. That's super that one's good. good. All right, what else? What's the next Chipotle. Chipotle. I'd rather starve. Craveable. I think yeah, craveable. He, you the hate price, Chipotle. It fills you up. They never like you never go waste. Like, but it's kept. It has risen a lot in price. We haven't eaten them in a while. But I do remember, you never really they, they go away hungry. Portions. I mean, you I might, vote craveable. You know, feel it then later that night, but. Nicole's, yeah. Nicole's like, really it's hates Domino's. Chipotle. It's definitely above Domino's, though. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. I didn't place it here. I mean, I honestly, for craveable, I think it's better than Burger King. Mm, but. Yeah, I would say probably I go to there more than Burger King. Or I did when. Yeah, I don't go there more than Burger King because it's more expensive and I have to like go inside, you know. But like food wise, better. Yeah. All right. What right. about Popeyes chicken? KFC, but uh, better. I can yeah. <laughs> what do you say? Oh, I says I starve on that one too. You don't like Popeyes either? Do I you? told you already. Yeah. We had you used question to like yesterday. it. Yeah. I didn't think you'd be that down on it. They both of them suck now. No, it's That's gotta true. be above KFC. They it's definitely KFC. above KFC. That's about all it gets. <laughs> okay. Have you had Jack in the Box? Really loves fried chicken, Chloe. Jack yes, we have. You had it actually when we were here because it was the place impressed. that was across from us. It was pretty mediocre. It's like the burger place that would be below. Yeah, on that. It's if it's available. So if it's available, Jersey Mike's. Uh, just, uh, again, I've only eaten there once or twice. I mean. Third, Jimmy John's, but not as good. intense, so I just put it down one. Five Guys, top tier. Yeah. Five Guys. Eh. The best burger so, you can no, get. You're comparing it's craveable. Yeah, I actually... Oh. It's in -out's hard. In-N-Out is so much cheaper. So price nope. adjusted, I like In-N-Out better. But Five Guys is so fucking expensive now. It really is. I I agree with you on that. It's That's why I said it's expensive. craveable. For I okay. think it is a little overpriced. Yeah. All right, I'm giving it the top tier of craveable then. No, I still think it's worthy of my money, but it's. But like, that's the tough part about it, right? Is it worth the it's money? It's really close between it and In and Out. Yeah, yeah, it's true. That's what I'm putting top of craveable. 
Mickey D's? McDonald's. That's craveable. You know, yeah. And Certainly craveable. when you craveable. have kids, it goes up a few tiers. Yeah. <laughs> i say, yeah. So it would be here, but maybe with kids it goes here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, because we don't go to Burger King. I meal. like Burger King better, the food. Yeah. But we tried to go to Burger King with the kids, and they just don't have, like, stuff They don't have the, kids. yeah, they don't they have, have a happy toys meal. and shit. Yeah. Yeah, they don't have anything that's targeted towards We have nothing now. that's top tier. And they used to, which is so weird. That's because it's fucking fast food. Yeah, nothing but, like, out of fast food, there has to be a top tier fast food in place. Out, which means it has to be in and out, because that's the, the yeah. left mode. Yeah. What's the last one? Del Taco. Nobody's had it. Uh, never been there. Yeah. No. None of us have yeah. been there. I'd rather starve then. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. Fuck Del Taco. All right. You want to do one more board and then move on? Yeah, yeah. So we have chips. Well, Zach didn't want to prepare anything else because he only wanted to do things. Well, we can go to news. We have chips, Breaking Bad characters, energy drinks. I thought you also uh, had Game board of games characters. or Game of Thrones characters. Game of Thrones Game characters, because that's that's what we figured would. All seen it, right? That's kind of what yep, I figured we were gonna end up. How I justified that as well. There's a lot of them, so we're gonna have to pick the most common ones. I feel like. Okay. Okay. What's the category? Iron Throne, Hand of the King, Castle oh, Black, Behead, Feed to the Walk. It's basically... Oh, they didn't do this as like an S A B yeah. C D E F. I feel like I'm changing it because that's too confusing for this. Okay. There we go. That's just stupid. I think Olena really is S tier. This, is that who that is? Yeah. This evil bitch? What are you talking about? She's the one who said, killed to tell Cersei it was me. Yeah. She killed I, Joffrey. I say, she had her moments. Joffrey gets her to A tier for sure. Ah, uh, that's mm. true. Minor of a character. That's true. Just killing Joffrey. That's that's like everyone was waiting for that for seasons. Okay, and Somebody's by the way, I, I feel like we all need to agree on something. Are we just doing this as like how good of a character the character was or like how him. much we liked them as a, as a character on the show? Can you separate those two? Yeah. Like how? Oh well, yeah, because like, like nobody Cersei, likes Joffrey, right? And, like so, Cersei sucks, but like okay, but as a character on the show, are we just going like yeah. okay, she sucks, so she's D tier. Like Joffrey's a well written character, but obviously we all hate him. That's why I said I feel like we need to come to an agreement on this. No, I think it's just overall feeling a mix of the two. You all right. Oh, ooh, we'll figure it out. Because he, like it's good how mm. much you hated Joffrey. Yeah. Right? True. He motivated you to watch this He's show a good character in that one. wanted way. to watch him die. All right, so uh, what's this guy's name? Simp guy? Oh, Friendzone. Mr. Friendzone. Friendzone guy. Yeah. Why is he B? No, I, I'm, just, I'm just moving yeah. them the here so we can talk about Jorah. Jorah, that's it. Mm -hmm. Jorah, yes. Yeah, Where do we want to put Jorah? I always Jorah just move him to the middle until we talk. I feel like Sir Jorah is an S tier character, honestly. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why not? Uh, he's too much of a like. He's, he simps the whole one, thing. He's boring as fuck. Well, maybe for <laughs> you guys. Yeah. He is a friend zone. He, he is the whole reason. The only thing I can say about him is he is very loyal. He's loyal. I, I'll give you points for loyalty. Yeah. But he shouldn't have been loyal. He's Mr. Friendzone. I mean, it's almost like the original description. Like loyalty. Well, not everything stupidity. is about fucking someone. <laughs> no, loyalty he wanted to though. Stupidity. Right? Like, you know. Loyal to a fault. Like, like a dog that you beat and is still loyal to you. <laughs> right? Pretty close. Pretty close to accurate. I Honestly, I, I kind of like him at C B at tier. Best. I think C at best. That, what's your vote, Chloe? And you have him at S. Um, I thought he was a great character. No. So I have C, the B, and S. The only reason Daenerys got as far as she did. Is you and Chloe agree on B. I think so B, B outranks too. everybody, so we're keeping B. What was his contribution? So, okay. <laughs> he just... To me, the rate that means A is... Oh, S is whoever I would have put on the uh, leader. No. A is someone would help the leader. No. B is dispensable. <laughs> See, here, here's where I will tell you how the, I'm doing the ratings and why Jorah is so low. If I see him, I'm waiting to the scene to end so we can get to a better scene. That's where Joffrey is better. It's like, even though he's a prick and you hate him, the scene is good. 
I don't think Jorah's yeah, scenes were bad. I don't think they were either. Yeah. He, he was he was critical well, he was, to Daenerys. The same goddamn lines over and over. He also had that uh, what was that, that disease thing? Oh, he got the scale. Yeah, the scale. Yeah, the scale. But what was the thing he said? Uh, God, I can't remember. Khaleesi. Khaleesi. Yeah, that dude's gonna say Khaleesi. Khaleesi. Uh, it's like the other one that's also gonna be really down for me is the one that was. Uh, Zach, you really nailed down the pedo vibe. <laughs> said, uh, the girl that kept telling her. What? What did she say to the to Khaleesi? The girl, her friend. Oh, the. Uh, Miss Sande. Repeating the same fucking line. Yeah, is she the next one? D. Really? This Miss Sande? Sande? No. It is known or some shit like that. It is just boring. It is um, just yeah. I put her, I put her, do you know what? I'm putting her as a B. I would just be like, just, just go to the next scene. I'm feeling just C just, just because scene. she was just not like much of a character. Yeah, I don't even know what, like, anything about her other than she just was there for exposition for the queen, basically. Well, she, she also spoke, character. like, 12 languages, and no that's why... She has yeah. no background, she has no arc, she's nothing. She's just the one that says... Uh, I bet you in the book she's probably a super important character. <laughs> probably. I was going to say, she she freed them nice. with the Unsullied. Yeah. She's a plot device, exactly. She has no real background. I know nothing about her. So you're saying B? I was thinking B. And Nick, what's your vote? I'm going C. There's no E. We can say, I said D. Oh. As in dog. And what was, what was Chloe's? Uh, C. C, so C tier wins. Oh, I forget this guy's name. But the he one that trains. Was oh, he has no name, know. does he? Well, I mean, he yeah, does right. it for like two episodes. He's also yeah, like I mean, a C or D just because he, he's not much of a character. He just trains Arya. It depends. So, uh, the first version of him where you see. Jakan Hakkar. Yeah, 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 Chakan, that's his name. Yeah. Like the early seasons? Uh huh. Good. The later seasons just retarded. Well, like, you could say that about most characters, so though, movie. right? Yeah, that's part of it. It's <laughs> like if I'm judging him by the early seasons, B. I, I, I let's agree that we all judge them based on the good seasons, at least. Okay, B, because I, I'm fine with leaving him at C. I, I would say C he's as well. Not in a whole he's lot just of not the much show. of a character. Arya's arc, as like when he's in that. Like, the end makes no sense. <laughs> it makes no fucking sense. He's smiling about something, and he doesn't know anything about what happened at all. Like, it's just complete fucking nonsense. Yeah, so that, well, which is why we say C. I was going to say Jamie early, Lannister. No, definitely no, that a. was later seasons. If we judged him on the early No, no, no. Season, he was a mystery. Nicole and I are saying C because he's just not that interesting. Like, he's just not much of a no, character. No, if you just judge on, like, he was the murderer and there was a mystery about him... Like, before you saw that le later seasons, he was an interesting character. Because you didn't know, but he had that coin. And but we're saying he's not, in. so we say C, you yeah, say B. Yeah, exactly, because of the later seasons. The no, later we're seasons saying it. It's all not seasons. because he's written badly, it's just because there's only, no like, sense. he's got, like, six episodes in the whole show. Really? I don't know. What's, what's Chloe's uh, ranking? Because we got two C's and a B. Early season only. If, it were, if you did it's it, not it early. Happen later, and, he, and it ended with Arya getting that coin, and he like murdered people to get her out. And it's just that mystery, and that was it later disappointed. The, the fact that I couldn't remember his name. Okay, it's that's a probably C. That's C. You Chloe agrees. C. All right. Well, Jamie Lannister, though we got we're, a. a or S, all right? Like we yeah. got a. Is it one of the uh, you can't you can't characters? I'd say A because you can't put a sister fucker at S. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we can all agree on that. <laughs> but it does make for the whole entire story. Yeah, he's for sure one of the most interesting characters. He's definitely like, he, ahead of her. This is where you wanna like I don't know. You hate, oh, like you going back like to the him. scene thing. Even in the times you hate him, you you're still rooting for him. Scene. Mm -hmm. Right, he he's always a good character. Scene. Even when he's a bad guy. And then at the end, you're like, oh, I hope he, like, doesn't go back to Cersei. You're, like, rooting for him they to, like, get away from right. SNL of this. SNL had, like, a skit where he, like, you know, was on. And he was just being a print, like, a prick or something. And they kept forgiving him because of that jawline. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, he's a piece of shit, but that jawline. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. <laughs> like, that's, that's 
We're gonna have to like when we get to some of these characters, we're gonna have to skip to like some of the main characters because we have so many non-main characters. Catelyn Stark pisses me off. I, you yeah, her fuck her, D. Yeah, I'm putting her down, too. Because she's, one, again, boring. Fuck that bitch. Well, she is boring, too. Botched job. Her, like, store, like, oh, yeah, punch. she was supposed to come back as a dead lady or something, and it yeah, never happened. Yeah, Stoneheart lady. But she was boring. Yeah, that's we're going the based off the show. Basically. I'm going to move some of these. In the show. They're just not she failed at basically dead. everything. Everything she had tried. Yeah, oh, she's the one that did, like, uh, Jamie Lannister. She actually exchanged him. No, she set him free. Somebody. No, she yeah, just set him free. She was the... Yes, that's what I said. She exchanged him for... She didn't actually didn't exchange him for anyone. Huh? What did you... She just set him free altogether? No, there was something for it. She doesn't no. just set him free for nothing. She told her... She set him free in, like, the middle of the night. Yeah, she exchanged for Tyrion? Is that why? I don't remember. For some reason, she let him free. I don't remember. But the, it was a stupid... I remember thinking it's stupid. Because she's a stupid character. <laughs> well, well, we all agree. I don't know why we're arguing. She was she supposed sucks. to set him free, and he was supposed to go back to King's Landing and get Ned Motor. freed. Basically, is what I'd was supposed to happen. It's interesting than Jorah, despite only saying one word. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, what about Hodor? <laughs> yeah, how about Hodor? That's what I said. More interesting than Jorah. No, no, no. We all Jorah. said D for here anyway, so we're we're moving on. Yeah, what about Hodor? Yeah, we're talking Stop. about Hodor. Hodor. Hold the door. B, B tier. I'm fine with B. B Above tier. Jorah. Above Jorah. Above Jorah? I'm totally Jesus okay with that. Christ. Great, great Wait, character why did you art. Move Grey Worm down, babe? Stop messing with things. I always was wondering too what you would say next. non main characters. We have to get through this. Just Grey Worm is a total main character. They can hear us can compared to the Starks and Lannisters. Oh Hello. What? Can you hear us? Yes, we can hear you. What? Yeah. No, We're just talking over each other. Sure. Yeah. Who's this next one? Bron. Bron is next. Oh, oh Bron's Bron. cool. Bron. Bron's pretty awesome. I'm fine with him being A or probably A tier ahead of her. A. No, he's before Jamie, so I don't think S. You don't think? So? What? No, he wasn't as interesting. No. He's more. I'm not saying ahead of Jamie. I've seen the show in a while. I'm saying, I'm saying yeah, before. Ahead of Jamie. Yeah, before Jamie. Yeah, that's what he's I'm saying. Very, you are arguing kind of my exact pl Even placement. He's cool, I think he's kind of cliche. I don't think he is. Yeah, he's kind of a cliche. No, he's the like he's like the bad boy character that's too cool. Could when you say that Jamie Lannister as well? Dick his lines pretty easily. I can predict what he would say. All right. Well, yeah, we I all can... agree where he places, so I don't know why we're still talking. Oh, Jamie. Okay, who's next? I don't know who that is. Is that the autistic kid? What? what? You don't know who this who's is? That? That's Cersei. Cersei Lannister. Cersei? Oh, that's really? Cersei. It's when she has the short <laughs> hair. It's she short gets... hair, Cersei. Haircut, she looked like a boy. Yeah, because when, she... yeah, uh, when she gets shamed. Yeah, yeah. She's not asked here. I'm just putting people no, up here so you can see. I don't think A. She's the one like Joffrey that she got I don't like her. boring after a while where you could oh, also predict boring. what she was going to say and do. I was going to say B. Yeah, I'd say B too. Yeah, Probably top B of B I list. Live with. Above Jorah again. Like, there's yeah. no way Jorah's above Jorah's her. probably the bottom of B list, let's be honest. Tyrion might be the S tier. Yeah. Uh, S, everyone's going to say Yeah, yeah, we can't. We well, can't. again, if you went to later seri series, Tyrion. They're all, they're all D characters at that again. point. He's like nothing and like he was in the <laughs> early seasons. Because he was right. S tier for sure. For the first four seasons. Oh, God. What was the king's name? Robert Baratheon. Robert Baratheon. Uh, he's a C tier. He only lasted like a season. Yeah, he's only he first wasn't, season. It wasn't even a season. Yeah, half a season. He's kind of like funny seven though. seven episodes. That's why I was saying he's funny. He's so I'd say he's had a Jorah yeah. likeability. Yeah, he's oh yeah. God. He doesn't yeah, watch the show in so long. <laughs> I I just he's, know which characters are like laughing at some of his lines. Like he was just a yeah. fuck up drunk king. When I, when he goes to tell the kid to get the brush plate yeah. stretcher. Yeah, he's funny. <laughs> he's a great character, but he's not there for long. Yeah, you don't really grow to like because he doesn't even have that many scenes. He's, he's yeah, he's not there die. long enough to enjoy. I'm look, Hodor is ahead of him, but I think he can beat Jorah. You guys are haters on my man. <laughs> Apparently, yeah. are. Mm -hmm. All right. 
Where are we putting her? A. A or S? A. Khaleesi. A, because she has her problems. No. <laughs> I think it's, she's just boring because it's like, I have dragons and I win. She she was young, okay? She's kind of interesting character, but she declines She's very fast. not as cool as Braun. You don't think so? No, Braun has to struggle to win. She's hotter than Braun, though. And she has dragons. Okay. If we're judging her ass alone, she might go to be fair. Up of the A-tier. And she has and dragons. And she she got the no, dragons no, the by dragons performing blood magic. Boring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because she just wins. It's just like it's the one character with nukes. And you know she has yeah, yeah. You know, she, she, her dragons weren't always big. They were little. A lot of oh, season two was, was like her getting beat the shit out of. Right. She went through some shit, man. Yeah. Blast, like and. Her brother was trying to fondle her and sell her. She kind of got raped by her husband. Well, either way, we agree on A tier, right? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, but I think I might even put her behind the old lady, even though I don't remember her name. Olena. was interesting. Olena. Olena, yeah. All right, sure. she's behind there. I I don't care once they're in the A tier. She had so many flaws where it was, like, kind of boring. What about the, what is he, the Onion Knight or something? Sir Devos, yes. Sir Devos. Uh, S. S tier. S to me. I put him in A. He's up there. Yeah. A, maybe ahead of Khaleesi? I really no. I would put him ahead of Khaleesi then. Yeah. What do you say, Chloe? He was likable. Because we have a disagreement. Well, she just said S tier, so she would have to put him at the top of A. Okay, so, uh, well, well, then we're putting ahead of Khaleesi. I, I mean, his motivation for saving the little girl, that was pretty... Yeah. He was always an interesting yeah. character. Yeah. He was likable for sure. All right, how about the the hound? The hound's A or S? Oh, he's one of the most. Yeah, he yeah. might get an S because he's. Fun. I think so. He might be he's the wonderful. only other S tier. I may eat every fucking chicken in this place. Like puts him in the S tier, <laughs> <laughs> right? And then he also travels with Arya. Yeah, he yeah. Knows how to fight yeah. and shit. Speaking of which, where's Arya go? S. She's a pretty interesting character. I'd... That's why I say yeah. S. Maybe top Again, of A or later, S. Yes. Later season, she drops. Later season's really She's good. like non-existent. Jamie. She I kills the... Uh, Jamie, to be honest. You think? I think ahead of Jamie. The White Walker, though. The, no, what's his I think face? Jamie's ahead. I think... Okay, we have... They I both... think we have a two-to-two two vote. Because I say oh. behind Jamie. Chloe says behind Jamie. You say ahead This of is why I just said before. don't put them in front of each other. Just well, leave wait, them in the box. It's fun to have... Leave them in the row. Let's say these are tied right now. These are tied right now. These, those are because I think she's not as interesting. Yeah, Arya and, if go later seasons, and Jamie tied. Jamie still pulls way ahead of because she gets ridiculous. And right. Silly. All right. How about Cal Drogo? You can leave him right where you put him. C tier. Right so soon. I, I D for Drogo. <laughs> C was fine. C was no, fine. I like D. I actually said C was yeah. fine for me. He was interesting while he lasted. Mm-hmm. But a little interesting. Well, he's more interesting than this bitch. Let's That's why I said. You can yeah. put him in C. Yeah. Everyone is yeah, sure C. Her. You said D. But if I'm, I, I would say C. Oh, no, I thought you just said D. Because he's above the Khaleesi advisor. Whoever this one? she was. This one? Yeah. Yeah. Why do you know her name? All right. It not important. Okay, we can put that little bitch at D. <laughs> <laughs> this one? Yeah. <laughs> Bran, yes. yes. If we're going to play seasons, you got to put a whole new tier for Mr. Autism. You would have to Wait, make a whole you tier can just one. for him. Can you make you know, another tier? If, if we no. only saw uh-huh. the first episode, maybe he would be higher. Right. Because he okay. his only like big arc that Wait, made sense was he fell a blow. off a There we go. <laughs> by Jamie. We that's made a, one. That's the we made one. Thing that <laughs> yeah, there you go. He's in the fuck you tier. <laughs> <laughs> Brand got his own tier. <laughs> <laughs> Ruin oh, the whole shit. goddamn show. We weren't supposed to factor in later seasons, but still. Well, if you factor in the earlier seasons, there's a whole season where they just freaking forget about yeah. it. He's in a tree. <laughs> yeah. yeah, there's a tree season where he's in a tree. It was so pointless. All of it in the end meant nothing. I know, that whole season literally came to be nonsense. <laughs> That's literal nonsense. All right, Joffrey's A. Joffrey, we know, has to be up here just for a, interesting factor. It's hard to He's more interesting than his mom. Yeah, for sure. Probably right here, right? Yeah, right in the middle. 
Because he drives a yeah, whole entire I season think, or two. I would even yeah. he doesn't yeah. die until like five. You don't like him. You like Braun and you hate him. True. True. He was over there crossbowing prostitutes. Way more memorable. Yeah, way more like, memorable. It's hard to forget the scenes with Joffrey. Yeah, Little, you're right. I think Littlefinger's also an A tier. Yeah. Littlefinger's definitely an A. It's it's, it's like close the between was so him bad. and Jamie between like yeah the later season he was so terrible with Littlefinger and you Jamie mean Jamie maintained his quality yeah, throughout he has so much potential so maybe I'd put him behind Jamie just for that but early season yeah he's Lannis really good versus early season Lan Jamie it's close yeah it's tough so just to to break the tie I'd put him before I think you can right, just leave yeah. him right there behind Jamie uh, I think this looks yeah. good. Yeah. Who's next? Oh, that uh, asshole. Put him in the fuck next? you territory, too. Fuck that. Well, no, he's I mean, a little yeah, he's interesting a character just because well, he works as one dude. Like the, he, oh, he takes his dick. Whereas, he, like, <laughs> yeah, you want to hate him so much. Yeah, he's purposely hateable. But he, they made him almost cartoonishly evil. Right? Right, true, That's true. Maybe the problem is he is cartoonish. He almost makes fuck you tech. Well, but Bran well, has, Bran's the only one no, allowed there. You, yeah, you can still make D tier just because he drives the story yeah. a lot more than Bran does. Right. Which yeah. means we have to tell bring the tortured the into it. Says, I can tell you lines from, like, uh, that dude, Ramsey. I know his name. Yeah, Ramsey. That's true. You Ramsey's do, you do know his name. He's above the mother for sure. She's All right, so fair old. enough. Yeah. All right, what about the one he gets tortured? <laughs> Who is this? Theon. Oh, Theon. Theon Greyjoy. The one that gets tortured um, by Ramsey. He had a <laughs> becomes a dog. Arc. He he I has mean, an interesting arc, and he does drive a lot of the story in I a good way. I think he's still a D tier character. But he sucks as a character because you don't like him ever. They completely yeah, forget him like for like and it's not episodes like a, at a time. Um, passionate hate. You just like you feel bad for him to a point. Hate. Yeah. Yeah. He like gets bottom like bottom of C, top of D. I'm fine. With uh, that. Bottom of C then. Ugh. Yeah. I'd rather Ramsey be there than him. All right. He, he loses to yeah. his rapist. You can really? put Ramsey yeah, in C no. tier then, because Ramsey does take over like Castle Black and has to do all that shit. All right. Yeah. He does yeah. shit. Okay. All right. Let's get Ned in here. Ned's A. Ned. No, that dude. Thief like, for dead. He's <laughs> basically rhymes with Ned. Levels. What's that? He's basically a failure at every level, right? Uh, he has. I, you know, he's a failure right? at every, every level because his best friend drags him into his drama. Like that's some shit like girls would do. I think he's B tier at least. No, Come on, he's like yeah. main character energy he, until he his head sure, gets lopped like, he off. He was gonna be the main character, but he is an idiot. Mm. He, well, wouldn't keep, he, he wouldn't keep his no. He 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 gave a fuck when it wasn't his turn to give a fuck. He he, he uh -huh. let his honor dictate. All right, he, when, maybe know, below Cal Drogo. Yeah. Uh, he's better than Cal Drogo. Yeah, I would say above Cal Drogo. All right. He's all the right. whole reason this whole thing well, even I still happens. I think Jorah this whole should be story. way lower because I think he's better than Jorah. Right, but we're I mean, we're putting him at the top of C. But I, don't, which I means was fine with him being B. But okay, let's say. <laughs> Alright, is there anyone else we want to do on here? Well, uh, yeah, I thought we are going to keep going. Well, let's get... I don't know, I think... Sam, that well how, about, how about one more? The Sam is guy. solidly a C. So Sam's up there for me. He's I like a, Sam. He's a C. At least B. Nah, I agree with C. <laughs> uh, Alright, we'll put him at... Ahead of Ned, or... Below Ned. He lasts longer than Ned, so ahead of Ned. He, yeah, but he, I don't know. He has at least a character arc. And yeah, not an arc of an ass. So much that I even forgot exactly what it was other than he's banging the... What he's he's the first one to kill a White stuff? Walker. Yeah. What? I see. Oh, oh my God, I think we should at least awful. rate all the... Main character. Yeah, we can do Jon Snow. Where's Jon Snow go? Yeah, where is he? He's right here. There he is. He's on there. So I don't know why they didn't put main characters first. It's weird how they ordered these. Well, they we're also forgetting about Sansa too. Yeah, we need Sansa. I don't think this is Jon Snow. This yeah, is right is. here. This is Jon Snow. Oh. Okay. B tier, but maybe like head. Mm. Yeah, because Jon pisses me off a lot. He makes a lot of dumb decisions. 
I think he's in the most cliche, as in he's yeah, the chosen one. Yeah, right, right. I, well, supposedly. <laughs> well, yeah, he was supposed to be until they, like, was retarded up the last season. Ooh, what about Tywin Lannister? He's at the bottom. He's the front of the second row. Oh, Tywin. He's a he, great He character. dies on the shitter, though. So, but he's, like, an A-tier character. He is up there in character. I do like yeah. him. He's better than Cersei? Like just Hell yeah, he is. The antagonist. Everyone uh, tried to beat him after he like died. The most. Right. But he, but he's such he's a good such antagonist. A character. Yeah, he's a good antagonist. All right, we do need but to do another, Jeffrey, the other Stark like, then. Joffrey. Sansa has like, an amazing character arc. Oh. Nah, I think he got cliche with the, I want to bang the big girl. Like, this is just. Who, silly. this person? No, it's just yeah, that guy yeah, with yeah. that beard. Yeah. I thought that was silly. Like That was just uh, a silly like, like some comic relief. Right, right. right. That's all he was. Yeah. What what about Sansa Stark? Where are we putting She her? has a great storyline. She's A for sure. She's certainly not boring. Not sure. I don't think A. Yeah. I'm thinking a close better than Jon Snow. Really? She had way more oh, character development. More interesting. I mm-hmm. feel like her potential yeah, but character her plot line just wasn't that interesting, kind of though. With yeah. little fingers, the later story. Most of her, no, most of what she did, she didn't actually do. She had, mostly other people doing all this stuff. You guys not like, remember that she was like twelve years old, what did, what did, what did, sent what? She's to King's Landing, and then yeah, fighting like her way back to really be the Queen of the North. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's what, what she's saying. She didn't accomplish nothing in, in any way, sense, or form. Well, maybe she's supposed to accomplish more in the books. Like, yeah, but she didn't actually in the show. Like, the savior of Jon Snow was the the other person. The what's his face, right? The kid that inherited the army. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah, the kid that like, sent everyone. Her the the only major accomplishment was going and begging that guy to go and save them. That's it. Oh, yeah. That's the only thing. I remember. Everything else, and I think even Baelish told her to do that, right? Well, I'm putting her right under Baelish. Perfect. (laughs) No, she's not even close to Baelish. I think she's like C tier. No, she's under Baelish. (laughs) Whatever. I think she's C tier for sure. She's boring. She accomplished nothing. She did nothing. And again, every scene, I would be like, eh, when's the next scene? She, I don't know. She had the arc with uh, what's his face, um, Joffrey. Yeah, but she didn't do anything but like be afraid. Uh, sort of. In the end, how did she get out? I don't even remember. Yeah. The ends got her out. I don't remember honestly. Really? Again, she accomplished nothing on her own. She was basically just standing there. <laughs> she's basically just like walking. She's no Arya, let's put it that way. Yeah, she's like she's just standing there. That's her job. She was boring in every scene. No Arya. Is there anyone else we want to even go over in this list? Um Oh, there's the guy that's still rowing the boat. <laughs> Who's that? I don't remember that. Which one? Uh, uh, I think it was really the King Baratheon's son. And in, like, season three, he escaped a castle and he was rowing a boat. And they didn't talk about him for two seasons. <laughs> so the joke on the internet was he was still rowing. He's just still rowing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what about the, the, uh, like the eunuch dude? What's the eunuch dude's name? Oh, oh yeah. Forget. The little bird tells me. I like the eunuch guy. He was cool. Yeah, I do too. I think uh, I like him better than the better than finger. Jorah for sure. Yeah. What better than Littlefinger? No. No, that, definitely not more than Littlefinger. He's a lot better in the later season. That was Lord Varys. Yeah, this Varys. Uh, yeah, if you go later seasons, maybe died by dragon he, fire in the season, last he season. Wasn't as interesting. Mm. He's basically just the guy without a dick that had spies. Yeah, in the later seasons, like everybody was no nothing. Like he couldn't tell you what he really. No, he helped Arya to escape. Yeah. Anyway. All right. The speeches weren't as interesting as Baelish. Baelish was striving. <laughs> I think we have enough for uh, this. So, as as predicted, Tyrion S tier winner. <laughs> What's his yeah, name? Brand. Early season Tyrion. Let's Brand, go late season Brand Tyrion the worst. Fuck you. <laughs> but you can say that about all the characters. What character was good in the last season? Um, Jon Snow got really retarded. 
Yeah. The Hound was still Mario good, was right? Stupid. Yeah, mm-hmm. the Hound was still pretty cool. That was about it. Uh, Jamie, Jamie was still alright. Yeah, Jamie wasn't too bad. He died with his sister. Yeah, he had to die with his sister arc though. That yeah. was kind of after right. after they were building him up to be with Brienne. Yeah, that that but arc was up until stupid. up until that very end, he was cool. Yes, agreed. The, literally the last. Even episode. though he raped his sister, it was a f- <laughs> interesting scene. <laughs> Next to their dead son. Right. Thank you. Yeah. That part. <laughs> but you wanted to watch, right? <laughs> You, it hey was, man, it I don't like, know what oh, you're wow, into. I can't believe he did that. I, <laughs> that's um. <laughs> some dark shit. It was you just saw that jawline. You're like, it's okay. He can get away with it. <laughs> All right. Who want to move on to some news? There's only a little bit of news. What happened in the news? Um, Nicole, you had a couple of news stories. What was the? Oh, Trump's indicted again. And Reddit is going what? dark. Oh yeah, the Reddit There's API so changes of this stuff with Trump and his legal whatever that I just I'll wait a month and then I'll see if anything came of it. Well, his legal team like it quit. Obviously, just turns into yeah, then nothing happened. Yeah, I don't know. He's indicted a second time, is what we know, and his legal team quit. I'll wait a month and then I'll see if it was like and then the judge dismissed it. Will we even know in a month though? It might be like a few months before we really know. Yeah, I mean, he will for sure. Well, it's also a federal case. Yeah. Yeah, it, I don't know. It. I don't know how it works. Comes of it in a month. All right. Uh, there's something else you mentioned. I well, there's the Trump indictment, and then because the Reddit. API, oh yeah, the Reddit API changes, so the Reddit's going dark. Did you hear about those? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Are you yeah. Going to charge people? Yeah, I actually looked up what it was because of my screensaver runs off Reddit API. Uh, I think I'll be fine. Your screensaver um, does? That, I don't really give that much of a shit about Reddit, so. Why does your screensaver run off a of Reddit API? Because it just pulls off a bunch of random screenshots from Reddit. And they're also like oh. getting rid of bots and stuff that like mods use to help moderate the subreddits. Hmm. Again. I don't care. That's why a lot of people are mad. Dog shit anymore. So why? Uh, why does it not affect your API? Uh, I think they said there's ten per minute that's allowed. Uh, for free. Oh, like fetches? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I don't think I go over it. Or if I do, I can adjust it down. Uh, that makes more sense. Then. So, I don't care. Yeah, they're saying you're going to see a lot more spam posts and, and ads because of no, what they're so doing. Like, it's so Reddit's going to be it's worse. Good cause I yes. want Reddit to go down because I think it's don- gone. Just every year it has become worse and worse. It and sounds worse. like they're they're making it worse. To replace it. I was going to say I don't know what you use Reddit for, but like my I'm fine with it. With I for what I use. It's for. fine on the small subreddits. That's it. Yeah, it's random subreddits are okay. It go to all. It's just dog shit. Reddit I'm used to be kids. all about our all, but our it's all is propaganda. So bad in advertisements. Yeah, it's like eighty percent. I'm with you on our all, but I still like Reddit for subreddits. Yeah, the subreddits. That's yeah. what my screensaver does. It pulls from very specific subreddits. That's what it calls me. Like have been taken specific over. subreddits like, are there's nice. Some, like our comics. Yeah, there's so much stupid political shit that's not at remotely funny, and I like. Well, yeah, you can't do the major it's ones anymore. Stupid. Like, yeah. even, like, the really big ones, like, if a movie's coming out, you can tell, like, half of them are yeah, paid for by exactly. the movie companies. They all become, oh, did you know, well, the, always the one is, um... To, today I learned that this famous actor in this movie that's just coming out tomorrow... Yeah, 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 has... that's one. But the other one was they, uh, they improvised this line. That's such, like, I swear, the laziest PR publicist... Go, let's just say they improvised one of the funny lines. Right, 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 right. Yeah, now I I, I believe that too. Like, like how, how many of these lines are actually improvised? I do wonder that yeah. now because they say that a lot on... Uh, yeah, it's just because shows. the PR publicist for that actor or actress got a deal where they can say that to, you know... Yeah, I, I don't disagree with you on that. It. That's all it is. Uh, Ted Kaczynski, if you didn't know he was alive, oh, yeah, yeah. was found dead. <laughs> Did you ever watch Good Will Hunting? No, okay. He's the Unabomber. He would mail bombs to people. 
Okay. Um, so he is, he was actually, uh, he went to, was it Harvard or somewhere? One of those places. He's a very yeah, smart Harvard. person. MIT? He was like a math prodigy. And then he was enrolled in, like, I think he went into some CIA thing they were did to him or something. Something. Was it the CIA? I don't know. did some mind thing. Did they do, like, the... I'll look this up before I start bullshitting. Did they do the, uh... Um, Not MK Ultra. The LSD <laughs> tests? No. Where they fed him, like, him shit some program. He lost his mind and started bombing people. Look for the blah blah blah. Like the I'm looking with it's when he was in college, but yeah, he was actually like some brilliant mathematician, um, or like a prodigy that they thought would become a brilliant mathematician. So um, Ted Krasinski um, taught at the University of California at Berkeley. Yeah, first year at Harvard. So Harvard. Harvard was his that. first year. Psychological study. Here it is. Brutalizing psychological experiment. It was at Harvard yeah, they did this to? Yeah. Sweeping and personally abusive attacks. Yeah, Murray worked with the Office of Strategic Services, a huh. U.S. intelligence agency, often returned to as the predecessor of the CIA. So Ooh, he, three years he of verbally him. abusing him for this experiment. So it wasn't the CIA at the time, but it was a predecessor to the CIA. Right, right, right. Where they did some mental abuse. And then he later started mailing bombs to people. He, he killed a lot of people. Mm -hmm. He got a he bought a cabin in the woods. Yeah. And then the interesting hmm. thing I learned is um the reason they caught him was you know that phrase you can have your cake and eat it too? Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, he would he, say it wrong. He, well, he would say it because to make it more unambiguous, so you can keep your cake and eat it too. He thought sounded better, and when one of his letters he wrote that, and then like his brother. You can't keep your cake and eat it too. Saw it and was like, "That's fucking my brother-in-law." Oh, yeah. He's the only person I've ever heard say that you should say that instead of "You can have your cake and eat it too." Yeah, to after he sent it less this ambiguous. Is a twenty thousand yeah. words in the best Yeah, he's he fucking wild. Otherwise, he never would have been caught because he. He was <laughs> he's literally ratted out, guy, right? He's a very brilliant guy. He was mailing bombs to everybody. I, I don't know what his kill count was, but it was pretty high. He almost took down a whole plane, apparently, but it just... Didn't work properly. It. it went off it in somebody's... Bomb, no, no. The, it, it just filled with smoke because the bomb didn't work properly, but it detonated in somebody's luggage. Oh, shit. Anyways. Also, he has the best... the be One of the best uh, poems I've ever seen with him is... Clinton and Lewinsky have shown what Kaczynski must... Oh, no, it's Kaczynski, right? Kaczynski must surely have known that an intern is better than a bomb in a letter, given the choice of how to be blown. <laughs> Anyways, he also wrote a bunch of essays it's that a good people one. <laughs> are really into, because they're all about, like, we shouldn't be enrolled into technology, we should go back to, like, primitive times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He and they're supposedly very well written. I was about to say, I think people still read this manifesto. Yeah, like quite a bit. People like his manifesto. He, he is, is kind of he's a very smart crackpot. So he, he also kills a lot of people. <laughs> but you know who yeah, was he killing? Cabin in the woods. It's it's very famous. He bought a yeah. cabin. Yeah, look woods. at this cabin. <laughs> like you said, he's anti-tech. He thinks you know we should all go back to some more natural state of affairs. He might not be wrong, though, is half the point. What's that? Do you think he would go visit there? Uh, I think... I don't know. Hmm. Good luck. Might be, they probably could go visit it, I'd imagine, but who knows. I wonder why he targeted who he targeted, though. It was all just random. What was it? Go, go up and look. I think no. No, because it looks like university people. Yeah, I think he was targeting uh, specific people for like, like whatever they were doing. Well, one he just uh. literally left at a university, and somebody random found it and called like the university uh, campus security. Yeah, it's a lot of university stuff I see on here. Like, yeah, probably where he just was putting shit where like people just got like it was like the most traffic. Yeah. Can you? 
do a control F for targets. I want to see why he was targeting. Yeah, targets. I want. FBI theorists crimes involved a theme of nature, trees, and wood. A tree branch and bark in his bombs. Huh. It doesn't really yeah, show why like he selected that. Reasoning. So he had reasons. <laughs> it just sounded fucking crazy. <laughs> Quote unquote reasons. Targeted people the first of July, blah blah blah. So engineering. Because he's anti technology. So I think they were he they weren't completely random. They're just He had a reason for them, but we didn't, we're not quite sure. Yeah, this is what they looked like, huh? I'm sure he wrote down why. He wrote a whole manifesto. Oh, that's true. We can look at the manifesto. <laughs> I don't think people that write manifestos kill completely randomly. <laughs> right, right, right. That's what the manifesto is for. It's something I eventually should read, you know? Like, the manifesto of a crazy man. you're going to buy man. a cabin in the woods. Yes. And then I'm going to spot something that you write that's really weird. <laughs> It's a good thing we have, like, 15 books in the house of Zach's, like, writing, <laughs> in case we ever need to I have my own reference. manifesto. Hmm. All right, well... What's happened in the news? Yeah, what else is going on in the news? Oh, another person died. Uh, Pat Robertson, crazy Christian guy. TV... Oh, I vaguely remember TV that. evangelist. News for a long time. Oh, is that the really crazy-looking one? No, that's not the crazy God. one. Dying. It's the one who's the more famous. Shit guy. He was old as shit. Oh years ago. yeah. Yeah, he's like the real that. piece of shit. Yes. Some people say he's basically the founder of like yes. fundamentalism in the right wing. Yeah, Hassan did a reaction. Yeah. That's the I one. Mean, we. I think Christianity twenty years ago may have been something I worried about. I don't worry about it anymore. It's dead. It's no one cares. It's the wokest are way more scary than the Christians. Oh yeah, we're gonna we're gonna indoctrinate your children, you guys. <laughs> Be yeah. prepared. I'm gonna trans your kids. I'm gonna trans your kids. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm talking about censorship wise. Oh, oh, oh. You can't say this. You can't do that. Like that's what Florida like, turned into. For sure, I thought the Christians were the censorship people like 20 years ago that I worried about. They have no authority whatsoever. I don't care. You can say uh, fuck God. God damn it. I hate Jesus. You can say all that. Say any of the things you can't that the say don't want you to say. <laughs> yeah, you're going to get in trouble, man. To be fair, the right is trying to fight back on that in the same way, like with the yeah, again, Bud Light care. having like transgender people. I mean, they seem to care. Some people yeah, do. But I mean, they have no power whatsoever. Anymore. No, not, not like the left does with censorship. Like I said, 20 years ago when Bush was in the office. They had real authority. Today, the Christians have zero authority. They have no power in politics. And it's waning. Yeah, and it's even on a downtrend from basically nothing. Right. That's the more important part. See, now the wokest, they might start censoring even more. <laughs> I can't even say retarded anymore, Zach. I do. Well, I, I mean, you said it just fine. Yeah, you said it within 30 seconds of this podcast opening <laughs> in reference to not wanting to fuck up how your children say numbers and count. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, but the thing is, Nick starts every I podcast is, I don't want to be retarded, it. but Jesus I don't want my kids to be retarded. Yeah. I said Jesus is not real in the early 2000s, but if the wrong Christian heard it, right, you, know, you might get shouted down. Yeah, right, right, right. That's the difference. But now people are like calling in bomb threats to targets because they have pride sections. Like we walk into a mire and they have pride section, and I'm like, where's the bomb threat? And the crazy people with cameras being like, mm, Myers indoctrinating and transing your kids and, and child grooming. The, they just, they like Nick said, they don't have as enough power. They try to make a big stir, but people are like, we don't care. They went a little too crazy with it. Yeah. The reason they were able to get away with stuff 20 years ago is because they weren't as wild. They weren't crazy. <laughs> The Christians? The Christians were. It was just a different time where some people agreed with the, them. But the internet didn't exist the way that it does True. today is what I mean. So, like, the wildness was held in a bubble. It wasn't exposed to everybody. Like, the weed's gonna kill the kids and turn frogs gay. You know, I never don't... I don't think I ever walked into Walmart or Target and saw, like, a big Christian display. 
You will if you go into Barnes and Noble. <laughs> is there is there a big Christian display? I mean, they have like a Bible section. Oh, that's not oh. a big display. Well, they also book. have like a whole. Oh, it's like of, Christian like, gifts and stuff. It's yeah. not just Bibles. It's like Christian gifts and everything. Yes. Yeah. It's not the same though. That's what they sell. They sell, you know, books. But they also sell books on gay people, and they'll be like, "Hey, for Pride Month." Yeah, it's I mean, like LGBTQ literature, and then people will come in and be like, "Oh my god." Barnes and Noble definitely leans way more to the left for that stuff. Oh, okay. So you okay? It also just depends on but who's working there. They also there, have like. Christian stuff, right? A huge section of Christian stuff. Yeah, they definitely have yeah, a lot. Have, I go there so when I get my I parents' think stuff. Barnes and Noble isn't the same. They have like they will have LGBTQ whatever books, and they'll have Christian books. They, they also have right. a whole they section of Christian fiction. Right? That's. Yeah, they they don't discriminate really. They just we have yeah, it all. Yeah, but people will still go in and get mad that they're oh not yeah, absolutely. About gay people out is what yeah, I'm saying. No one's going in there being like, oh my god. But that's like YouTube. They have Christians. It's a it's a bookstore. Yeah. Right. They yeah, they have whatever. Of them. They should they should just have books. Just have books. I don't care. Do whatever you want. That's the problem, Nick. Too many people aren't like you, where they're just like, do whatever you want. Sell the books. Sell sell the merchandise. Sell the clothes. Who cares? It's a fucking rainbow. <laughs> All right. Last story is Conor McGregor sends a mascot to the hospital. <laughs> uh, is this real? Yes. Yeah. Hey, I'll show you the video. It was supposed to be a skit, but he hit him twice. So here oh, he is. Okay. Down here. I see you. And he's he's promoting his his pain relief spray. I don't need to see it, Zach. You can, yeah, I I know he punches. That's. So he was a fighter, a UFC fighter. Yes, a famous UFC fighter. Famous. So, if any. So why he punches? Him? I think it was, Zach said it was supposed to be part of a. Skin it was supposed. A little too hard into it, and he punched the guy. And he punched him a second time. He was just supposed to punch him the one time, and the I dude just, was supposed to go on the ground. It's not. Is he actually Irish or is he a, Irish? Yeah, he's, he's Irish. He's for real Irish. Yeah. See, he is really fueling that drunk fight. Yes. Irish <laughs> he, he definitely <laughs> he does. Just, he owns his own whiskey. <laughs> yeah, he owns his own whiskey brand. That's kind of his MO. He's gotten in multiple yeah. problems whoa, for whoa, this before. Whoa, let's not be a racist. What did she what say? Said, well, he's Irish. He probably drank too much. <laughs> <laughs> he's not wrong. <laughs> no. He, I know. This, he, yeah, he probably did. He was getting booed, and so some people think he was getting mad and hit this guy harder than he should and hit him a second time. Yeah, because he was just supposed to hit him the one time the dude was supposed to fall on his back, and then they were supposed to pretend to spray him with um, McGregor's pain spray that he was promoting. And obviously he wasn't supposed to hit him like, you know, an actual yeah. make it more as hard as possible. Irish, Irish racist, I'll say something like, Somebody told him his wife was in the costume. <laughs> <laughs> no, that would be Dana White. <laughs> but no, he doesn't. He, Zach was telling me that he does actually have several um, domestic violence allegations back in Ireland. Oh, Jesus. This guy really is the Irish. Guy. Yeah, he also, he, <laughs> he punched. So there's this dude that was giving him crap in an Irish bar and he punched this old dude. Uh -huh. And out of spite, he bought the bar that the guy would go to every day. That the where this yeah. happened, so he couldn't and, and ban that guy. By the way, another unknown story: he eats nothing but potatoes <laughs> <laughs> and whiskey every day. Chases <laughs> potatoes and vodka, potatoes and whiskey. <laughs> That's all he does. Yeah, if you want to, if you want to avoid his brand, it's proper twelve. It's a good thing we can be racist with Irish people. Yeah, it's not the 1920s anymore. <laughs> We're allowed. It's not when my great grandparents immigrated here. All right, anything else to round off this podcast? <laughs> I don't think so. All right, I'm gonna go eat me some taters. <laughs> All right, later. Vodka. All right, All right, later. Bye.